Okay. I'm trying an experiment. This is, as soon as I can get this right. There it is. All right, that is a little piece of a McDonald's chicken nugget. I found. Uh, nanofibers in it. I'm going to see if there's any possibility I can do this. Okay, see, that's the piece of chicken. Now, the tricky part is holding this phone in the correct exact spot and getting the light on it. There. The blue nanofiber. Ah, hang on. This is not easy. There's one, except it's blurry. Probably because I'm holding it so close. You know, <laughs> the blind leading the blind here. I'm no expert in this with microscopes and the nanofibers and all of this. Ah. Okay, there's a good shot. Now, can somebody else please move the slide for me? <laughs> All right, hang on. Okay. That is the chicken nugget. Now, let's see if there are any other fibers we can see. Look at it. The nanofiber in the chicken. That's so bright, you'd think I have the microscope's light on, but I don't. It's not very clear, though. All right, let's move it some more. Still don't move. Well, it's as steady as I can do it. See if we can see the edge of it. Any fibers? Okay. A little more. All right, let's check the edge of it. Well, I don't know what that looks like. It doesn't really look like chicken. Now I need to move it. Oh, I can't. That's a good shot. Now if I can hold it. I think I saw a fiber there. Saw fiber, but it wasn't going. Oh shoot! I lost the. There we go. There's the fiber. there it would be. I would highly recommend do not eat any chicken nuggets yourself, let alone McDonald's, and don't let your children eat these. My husband goes buying this for my daughter 
not knowing a thing, and gives this to her. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. Just thought I'd show you. And the mosquitoes, <clears throat> I didn't see anything in them when I finally got them under this. This is that tissue I put the nanofibers on a couple weeks ago. And I've had it resting here next to the microscope. I took some off and was looking at them, but you can see they stay. Gosh. What a great little thing. Helps me see a lot. Okay, guys, that's it. Hi, you guys. I've been noticing in this very chilly weather, I seem to be seeing some white webbing on my grass. So I'm going to take a sample and have a look at it. I'll show you. Okay, I first noticed that one. And as I went to investigate further, I found more. It's everywhere in little clumps. And I've never seen that in our yard before. Never seen that. It's everywhere. Look. all over the grass. So, I'm going to find the best looking one and put it on a slide. working quite as easily as I thought it would. I need both hands to do that. Okay. Got it. I don't know what I've found, but I've never seen this before, but I don't know what it is. So I'll show you. I can see some neon glowing color when I use my UV light, but not fibers. I don't see fibers. I see tiny balls. That makes me wonder, are they red blood cells. I don't know. I'll show you. Okay, this is the part that is not easy to do. See? So that is what I see. I'll up the magnification now.
And now, a week later, this is how they look. Clumped together. So in time, they have all clumped together. The unfortunate part is, I can't tell you what they are, but I still wanted to show you because it looks like red blood cells and it would make sense that we had some rain and then those formed. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot get a better image than that. I'll have to find a better way, but I'm learning. So oh, that's how it looks with the UV light. There is some glowing. Oh, that's it. <laughs>